food. You eat it. But have you ever stopped shoving said food into your greasy, disgusting, fat mouth to think about how much time and thought was put into the design of that food? Man, what a drag. What's up? Someone designed the food that you eat, specifically to make you drool over it as much as Discord admins drool over little girls. Pancakes. Pancakes are so good. But you know what would make them better? If they were a little bit crunchy and had pockets for the maple syrup and oh my god, that's waffles! Oh wow! I, like the average person, absolutely adore chocolate. And I want to share that chocolate with my loved ones. If only there was an easy way to break them apart, and oh shit, that's every fucking chocolate bar ever made. Kit Kats, Her 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 Hershey's, uh, other chocolate bar. What about Pringles being the only chip brand to not sell you air in a bag because they designed their chips to be stackable? Or Rice Krispies, that are the only food that makes me tingle like I'm listening to Serial Killer ASMR Roleplay Part 2. Uh... Hey, I paused the video. As I was making this, I, I, I decided to type into YouTube and see if this was a real thing, and that, that, that video exists. I don't get it. Can someone explain ASMR to me? <laughs> like, it even has part two. I said part two, and this is part two. Why? Now, I understand that I told you that the last knife wasn't necessarily going to be used on a body. Now, this one... Maybe. Phenomenal for removing ears. This is fucking weird. You would right now, but you can't. Because you are incapable of gasping. Someone put the time into designing your food to be convenient, appealing, or something unique. You, even your cat food, is designed to look appealing. Really? No, you colossal moron. Have you seen your food? It looks like the same substance that comes out of my asshole when I'm sick. Your food looks like watered-down old Play-Doh that I just vomited on. Now, dog food, on the other hand, Oreos are the perfect example of this. They aren't the only cookies to have icing in the middle, but because of the design of the actual cookie, you can tell the difference between an Oreo or something like this. Oreo also gave us a couple of DLCs that introduced more flavors and styles. Maybe you want something less chocolatey. Or maybe you're a big man who wants more goo in the middle. What if you have really tiny hands and you can't pick up normal sized Oreos? And maybe, just maybe, you're a sociopath incel who diddles kids in your free time and you want to let the world know just how sad and pathetic you are. Go out in public and buy yourself a pack of Oreo Thins. You see, when there's food that's well designed, there's always going to be some designs that are, uh, Want want. Oreo Thins are the perfect example of this. They have no point for existing. If I was in a room with Hitler and the guy who invented Oreo Thins, and I only had one gun with one bullet in it, I would shoot that motherfucker who invented Oreo Thins, and then I would skull fuck that hole so hard my cum would replace his brain and he would gain 50 IQ points. I couldn't have said that any better myself. Now if you don't mind, I'm gonna go because talking about Oreo Thins has made me hangry. So I'm gonna go make myself some waffles with a side of double stuffed Oreos like a normal person.